on a fishing boat South of Valdez with my friends Kodiak And Jamie and Dean We're riding the coast Wherever it goes Hot or cold Where ice or snow The same molecule It is known what does it take to truly be present in the moment? Experiences that challenge you? Is it doing things that make you happy? Or is it seeking out moments in your life that demand 100% respect, engaging all the senses and your focus? For those who live the steep life, presence is found accessing the good. Long before the moccasins Came hydrogen and oxygen Drinking by the night for all thousands Years ago As a young man, Dean Cummings knew his life would be committed to finding adventure in the outdoors. A passion for skiing brought Dean to Alaska in 1991 where the expansive Chugach Range inspired him to become a pioneer of the sport's pinnacle experience. Guiding in Alaska has uh, been around for a long time. It's progressed a long ways, going right into the 90s, the early 90s is when uh, heli skiing first took hold in, in the state of Alaska. We all came up here, um, they invited some of the best skiers in the world to compete in the world extremes and we all came up here and, and just had our eyes open by the vast amount of terrain and that it was the highest level of the sport. I can't get enough. Drink it, we fish it, we ride it, we live it, we add it. Huge terrain, helicopters, endless snow, protocols, and people from around the world combined together in the world's most impressive interconnected glacial mountain range. All to feel the presence of such primitive, raw beauty. out here we're uh, about 30 miles from the road right up against the Wrangell St. Elias and the Chugach range which is 260 miles long and uh, we're so remote that it would take about two weeks to walk out of here but with really good flight operations and really amazing team that's how we can do this. To the early pioneers of heli skiing in Alaska, the environment demanded developing new rules and rewriting the standards for remote guided aircraft operations. Early on it took all it could to get back to the road alive. That challenge led to the development of tools and techniques that makes experiencing these mountains a reality today. Field operations out here, is, um, some call it heli skiing, we call it remote mechanized guided aircraft operations. So, you know, what we're doing out here is we're establishing landing zones and pickup zones, taking into account what run we want to ski. But the most important part of this is the whole helicopter side of it, what can be landed, um, what you can do to establish landing zones and pickup zones. Valdez lies on the shores of Prince William Sound in south central Alaska surrounded by 6,000 to 8,000 foot peak mountain ranges in every direction. Moisture rich storms sweep off the Gulf of Alaska, depositing 80 to 100 feet of snow every year. Once the helicopter rises up and away, leaving skiers and riders on top of their runs, no other experience will put the mind so focused on the moment. 
you're truly present. You're out in the field, you're, you're going to teach these people how to implement backcountry protocol. You always ski one at a time, safe zone to safe zone. You um, always try to stay visual verbal when guiding people. Dean and his guide team work tirelessly and endlessly to assess the hazards for the day of operation. Each red flag is analyzed, discussed, and planned around to minimize the risk for groups in the field. Those who have traveled to Alaska to see and experience these moments have been trained and prepared to work as a group and rely on each other's strengths to avoid hazards. The best part of Alaska Protocols is we've the guiding principles to educating the uh, person you're bringing into the mountains in developing this group team emphasis. Um, they, they learn how to use safety equipment, the avalanche transceiver, uh, the probe, and they carry a shovel, they carry extra food and, and warm clothing. They're going deep in the mountains into a, a range that holds 40% of the world's glaciers. You're going out into in terrain that doesn't exist anywhere else, and, um, and it's just so vast and so big, and, and the scale is so large. You know, you really do have to develop people to understand back into protocols when you bring them out there. Ability is only part of the equation since the terrain options are widely varied. Skiers and riders come to Alaska to evolve and take home a deeper understanding of their ability and commitment to the sport. Travel and exploration brings our understanding of all things to a deeper and richer level. Overcoming challenges and accomplishing goals enlightens our soul to a higher level of awareness of the environment. The way you develop the highest level of skiing is by educating people and, and teaching them backcountry protocol and how to ski better. It's incredible the, uh, the experience people are getting and the friendships that are being brought home after a trip like this. Just it's really rewarding as a guide.